Uh, welcome back everyone to the channel. Today, I want to share my experience taking the CompTIA Linux Plus XK06 beta exam. If you're thinking about taking it or you're just curious about what it's like, stick around because I'm going to share as much as I can. So let's start with how this all began. Now, back in November, I got an invite from CompTIA to take the Linux Plus XK06 beta exam. Now, it was an exciting opportunity, and since it was a beta, it was only, I think the cost was only like 50 bucks or something. So it's a still compared to regular certification exam fees. Uh, most exam fees are like 350 bucks on upwards. So I went ahead and I scheduled the exam for today, January 26, giving me a couple of months to prepare. To get ready, I decided to, I, I downloaded the Linux Plus XK06 objectives first from uh, CompTI, CompTIA's website. And I used that as my primary study guide. But um, besides that, I also bought Jason Dion's, uh, not study guide, excuse me. I used that, you know, I, I used that. I also bought Jason Dion's Linux Plus XK05 course on Udemy. And even though it's an older version, there's still a good amount of overlap in the domains cover, which made it a helpful resource. Now, another key resource for me was Sean Powers here on YouTube. And let me just say, shout out to this guy, Sean. His videos are incredible. He's a wizard when it comes to breaking down Linux concepts or he explains them in a way that even a beginner like myself can easily understand. I'm completely new to Linux, having primarily worked with Windows, like the majority of the population, right? <laughs> so his content was a game changer. Now let's talk about the exam itself. The Linux Plus XK06 beta covered several topics, system management, service and user management, security, automation, orchestration, and scripting, and of course, troubleshooting. Now. Surprisingly, I didn't see a lot of scripting or automation questions on the exam. I took the test through a company called Pearson View, which for all of you who are not familiar, Pearson View is a company that allows you to take professional certification exams from the comfort of your home. So uh, if you haven't already used Pearson before, it's worth checking out when it comes to taking CompTIA exams. The exam itself was about 165 minutes. It had 115 questions, including the performance-based questions. Uh, speaking of, the performance-based questions were definitely the toughest part for me. They weren't command line heavy. Instead, they were more about selecting uh, options from drop-down menus. And let's just say it was, it was really tricky. For those of you planning to take this exam, here's a tip or a few tips I have for you. One, speaking of performance-based questions, again, skip the performance-based questions at first, tackle the multiple choice questions. It saves me time and it lets me build confidence with the easier questions before circling back to the tougher ones. Also, when working on multiple choice questions, eliminate the obviously wrong answers first. It really helps narrow down your options. Another piece of advice, practice on real Linux systems. Personally, I use uh, VMware to set up a virtual Linux environment, or this is something that I learned about from Jason Dion's course. So shout out to Jason Dion for that. Uh, practicing in a real environment makes a huge difference because you get hands-on experience with, with commands and tools. And during the exam, I noticed a few topics that came up repeatedly. For example, uh, one name I saw a lot was Antible. Um, so Ansible was mentioned at least three times in the exam. So if you're studying, make sure to have a solid understanding of Ansible. And honestly, the exam wasn't as difficult as I expected. Now keep in mind, I started studying just a couple of months ago with zero Linux experience. So if I can do it, you absolutely can do it too. Don't be intimidated, just take it one step at a time. Once the exam was over, there was a survey at the end asking for feedback. This is pretty typical with CompTIA. But at the end of this exam, CompTIA tells you that they're not going to release the results immediately. They're going to mail it to you on a later date. Now we're just playing the waiting game at this point. 
And that's been my experience with the Linux Plus XK06 beta exam. If you're preparing for it or if you have any questions about the process, feel free to drop them in the comment section. And if this video helped you out even a little bit, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and I will see you all on the next video. Take care.